One, two, three. All right. NASA's Kennedy Space Center rang in 2011 with the grand opening of the agency's greenest facility on January 20th. The Propellants North Administrative and Maintenance Facility is the new hub for fueling support personnel and a storage facility for cryogenic fuel transfer equipment for spacecraft that will embark on journeys to unlock the mysteries of the universe, while the building itself taps into Earth's natural resources. I think it's fantastic. It's really a neat facility. How can you not be enthused about something that requires zero energy? It actually puts more energy out than it requires to run in a 24-hour period. This is our start. This is setting the standard. A few days before the ribbon-cutting ceremony, we caught up with Frank Klein, a project manager with NASA Construction of Facilities, to talk about how Propellants North will be a test bed for more environmentally friendly projects. Honestly, I feel this is probably one of the best facilities we have in, 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 the, in the agency and nationwide. There's not many buildings that can meet the same criteria that we met here. This facility is going to give NASA the data to prove that these things do what the vendors are actually saying they're doing. So that's what we're doing in this building. We're, che we're checking what the vendors tell us is truly green to make sure it meets what they're saying. The test bed begins with a parking lot of the future. There oh, there it goes. For less than $1.50 a day, an electric or hybrid vehicle can plug into this nearby solar-powered charging canopy. This right here will give, hopefully, give incentive for people to buy their own electric cars and have a place to plug in. The eight-car station can be used for government or personal vehicles to reduce dependency on gas. Using the sun's power doesn't stop outside either. More than 300 photovoltaic panels are expected to produce more energy than will be used to propellants north, making it the space agency's first net zero facility. Even the orientation of the building on the property maximizes sunlight decreasing the demand for energy. The whole system was designed and uh, constructed by NASA, so with very little outside help. So we, I take a lot of pride in that. Um, the system works really well. We've had experts come in and give us kudos on how well the system is actually functioning. Net Zero also includes water conservation. A 7,500 gallon rainwater harvesting system supplies H2O to the toilets and sprinklers. When treated, that same water is safe for drinking and hand washing. Revered as American icons, NASA's spaceflight history adorns the walls. Other artwork brightly contrasts the power of spacecraft propellants and the peace of the raw nature and wildlife that exists in harmony at Kennedy. While most of its features are brand new, Propellants North also is steeped in rich history. Outside, crawlerway rocks that were crushed during space shuttle treks to Kennedy's launch pads are used as a substitute for mulch. Inside, a striking piece of Kennedy history is prominently displayed in the lobby. We're actually looking at the recovered uh, LCC glazing and frames that we saved out of the Launch Control Center. Um, to me, this is the million dollar view from this facility. You have the same view as you had in 1964 looking at the Launch Control Center. Um, these, this glazing and frames are at the exact angle and orientation as it was in the fire room. Klein and his team even insisted that the windows be left in their original state with the salt air stains on the outside and a nicotine patina on the inside from when NASA allowed smoking in the firing rooms. Propellants North also is an uber smart facility. These two switches are part of the uh, automated lighting control system for this, for this room. As you notice, there's really high windows in here. We get a lot of daylighting into this facility, uh, especially on the second floor. Even the air conditioning system is pretty clever. Its efficiency comes from the highly insulated roof and walls, as well as a thermostat that regulates the temperature and relative humidity up to five feet above the ground, which is where most people spend their time. This system works from the ground up. Hot air rises, so the air conditioning here starts from the floor and goes up. It's kind of opposite what a normal office building would be from pushing cold air down. The system requires no duct work because the air flows underneath the facility's sustainable bamboo flooring. Vents in each workstation can even be relocated for the comfort of the occupants. Propellants North is using an energy-saving feature that could be added to existing Kennedy facilities in the near future. Called a controlled power station, when an occupant leaves their work area for an extended period of time, it will turn everything using electricity off except their computer. This small step could greatly reduce an existing facility's monthly power bill. The design team's attention to energy efficient detail didn't escape the restrooms. Hygienic hand dryers blast water from hands in seconds, much like a power dryer at a car wash. And the showers and sinks are made to conserve as well. All the fixtures in this facility are, are high efficiency fixtures. They're all automated, so you, you don't have to touch anything touchless, and they're all uh, super low flow, so use very little water. While Propellants North will be working for its occupants, 
Its occupants will need to develop a green thumb of their own to maintain the center's reuse, recycle, and repurpose effort. As you can see, there's, uh, we have bins for plastic, aluminum cans, white paper, cardboard. Uh, the whole idea is to change people's habits, to not throw things away. We can recycle most things nowadays, uh, so we're trying to reduce the amount of actual waste that ends up in the landfill. The construction crew had the same concept in mind throughout the year and a half building phase. To date, 98% of all waste, totaling 664 tons, was diverted from landfill disposal. The environmentally friendly, net zero energy, water conserving, super clean and super smart building is a cost saving step toward the future and is part of a bigger picture for NASA. An agency wide focus on green initiatives has resulted in implementing ways to produce and use renewable energy, conserve energy and water, and utilize environmentally friendly materials. I think it's uh, the future for us here at the Kennedy Space Center. I think we're going to have more buildings like this eventually get to uh, where some of our old 1960s uh, infrastructure has been updated, uh, brought to new standards.